it's interesting because I'm now just thinking about how you brought that up in the context of imaginations and the, the enemy trying to like get a foothold into yeah. through spiritual warfare. But sometimes it could be remnants of old spiritual warfare huh. that just never got dealt with. Yeah. Dealt with. Yeah, because yeah. I because I said it in one of the podcasts, the difference between your wife or your spouse wounding you and you or your, or your spouse triggering old wounds in you that you never dealt yes. with. Yes. Uh, and so I think it's a difference. But also, too, for me, I just have to be completely honest. When I fell into uh, my pornography addiction in my marriage, it was... It was it was all of those things. It was it was me not not coping with a lot, oh. not dealing with a lot of past trauma, but also I like God had to tear down um, a lot of what I thought about what I what I thought marriage should be, mm. and He had to address my pride because I think what one thing that led me to 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 pornography was when my wife rejected me, mm. and I vicariously lived through me not getting rejected through porn. Mm. Like, I, I can watch a man not being rejected. Right. And I vicariously lived oh. through that. That, that experience. And, you know, experience. but it was, it was, it was, it was, it was perversion at its finest, sure. right? It, it, it was mm. not true intimacy. Right. It mm. was not true oneness, right? But it, it appealed to my pride, my mm -hmm. ego. And God was like, this is not just, just merely a lust thing. Mm -hmm. This is a deep pride issue, mm. yeah. right? You are with a, with a, with a uh, image bearer that happens to be my daughter. Mm. And you can't deal with her saying no to you. Mm. Yeah. And, and, and low key, the, the kindness of God mm. in all of this is that he he creates these scenarios where there's some level of tension or conflict as a way to expose what we need to deal with. Yeah. And so I, I, yes. I've started to see that triggers are actually opportunities. Like, yeah. I, I need you to see that you're still hurt. I need you to see that you're still bitter. I need you to see that what happened to you when you was nine and they talked about you is showing up That's in how good. you deal with your spouse, yeah. right? And so it's like sometimes instead of ignoring the trigger, pay attention yeah. to the trigger and bring them to the Lord and say, yeah. you know what? I didn't know this was still here, so heal me, yeah. right? Yeah. Like yeah. there are so opportunities <laughs> yeah. for What healing. you're bringing out is those coping mechanisms are getting in the way with how God wants to really heal you. Mm. Yes. And Matthew eleven twenty eight says, come to me, all you mm. who are weary and heavy yes. burdened, mm. right? I'll give Take you my yoke upon you and I will give you rest for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Yeah. And it's interesting. He's just asking for an exchange of yoke. Mm. The burden you're carrying, mm. the way that you're living your life, mm. trudging the ground through this yoke, it's bearing you down. Yeah. This yeah. coping mechanism is actually destroying you. Mm. 